Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to rename and archive files in SSIS after you've loaded them. In my previous video showing how to load multiple Excel files through SSIS, I was about to go into the archiving and I kind of just forgot and passed over it and someone commented on the video saying that I did that and so I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and make this video to show you guys a real quick way to rename and archive files after you've loaded them. It doesn't have to be Excel files, it could be any files. Um, and so let's go ahead and just get, jump right in. So um, I'll put the link in the comment for the previous video, but we did this stuff right here where we loaded the Excel files in the previous video. And here's the, the for each loop that loads the files. Now, <clears throat> to put files in the archive folder, um, it's a two-step process. We're going to go ahead and rename the file that has already been loaded and add a time and date at the end of the file before the um, extension, and then we're going to move it into the archive folder. So I've already created an archive folder um, in, on my desktop. I have a folder called SSIS, and I created this archive folder. So this is where all my archive files are going to go. Right now, these are my files right here that I'm going to load. Once they load, they should be put into here. See, it's empty. They should be put into here with a certain extension. So to do that, let's go ahead and first create our variables. Um, in the last video, I already created this one, the archive files folder with the archive folder variable. If you want to just do this, it's really easy. Just click on this button, add variable put in, you know, whatever you want. So let's say I want to put in archive folder. I'm going to call it two since I already have one up there. And then you just go to your folder. And if you click here, you can actually copy the whole path. Control C to copy. Change this to string. Go ahead and paste it there. And oops. And that's what I have right here, up here, you know, same thing, you can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. So that's one of the variables we need to create. The other one we need to create is the new file name variable. Now this variable is going to be what renames our old files and turns them into a different file name. So you know that it's been archived. So we're going to call this one the, the new file path new file name path and again it's going to be a string and for this one we're going to go ahead and click on this three little dots right here for the expression and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the file path variable evaluated make sure this works so you want to start with this the full file path starting from the C all the way to the file name because you can see right here I have multiple variables some just have the file name but you don't want that one you want the one with the full file path so the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of this XLS so we can add on the stuff on the back so to do that there is a string function called replace and we're gonna go ahead and erase this so the character expression you want to put in there is the file path. What we're looking for is the dot XLS and what we want to replace it with is just a blank. Let's go ahead and evaluate. So it's working. Now I want to add a underscore so we can separate it evaluate again there it is now I'm gonna put this in the comments but I went online and found a real quick you know real quick Google search um, showed me how to put in the date and time so instead of me typing it all I'm just gonna copy and paste it I'll also put it in the comments so evaluate and there it is you got prospect B underscore 2018 04 18 and the time Lastly, we want to put back on that XLS. 
and there you go that's what the new file name will look like right here remember to always hit evaluate just to make sure it's working hit OK there we go we got the new file path name so our variables are taken care of now our first step is to rename so we need to grab the file system task go ahead and double click it and we're gonna go ahead and is the destination path vari a variable yes it is and what is the destination path so this one is gonna be our new file name path that's where it's gonna be written to overwrite we, we can leave it as false unless you want to overwrite it um, this one I'm gonna call rename so we know what it is description is fine we're not copying we're gonna go ahead and rename the file is this a variable yes it is and for this one we're gonna put what's the source where's the where's it coming from this one is our file path remember we that's the one that we're renaming so our source is the original file path which was the prospect b xls and our destination is a new file path which is the prospect b underscore of the date and time hit okay that's our renaming done grab another file system task drop it in here we're going to call this one archive double click it again is our destination a variable yes it is um, this one is going to be our archive folder overwrite now unless you wanted to overwrite each time but it's going to have a different time on every time so you don't really need to worry about that um, we're going to call it archive that's fine we're not going to copy it you could copy it but it's already going to be renamed so you don't want to we're just going to go ahead and move it is our source a variable yes it is and this is going to be our new file path name so we're taking our new name and we're dumping it into our archive folder hit ok so I'm gonna go ahead and run this now okay let me move some of these things out of the way everything went through let's go ahead and stop it let's go ahead and check our archive files and there it is all the files from here are gone they've all been moved to the archive folder as you can see they didn't go in any order but they're all in here you can see that they've all been renamed and so that's that thanks for watching guys